Hey guys, this is NST, Never Stop Traveling, and today we're going to go over how to get free food and lodging when you travel. Many people don't know that they can get free food and free lodging when they travel. It's crazy how many different ways you can get these things for free. So we're going to go over lodging first. And for lodging, there's a lot of different ways that you can get free lodging for free. Um, going off of the last video, camping, obviously you can always camp anywhere for free. Um, you can also do, I talked about it a little bit, how you can do, um, you can stay at a hostel or you can, you know, work and stay at a hostel for a week or maybe a month or so. Um, that's kind of goes into volunteer work. But um, when you do that, you generally get free food, but you're doing a little bit of, you know, 20 hours or so a week to work for the free food and the lodging and sometimes alcohol. Other ways you can volunteer is you can work on a farm, you can do, um, you can help people out with projects, you can do house sitting. There's a lot of different ways that you can volunteer when you're traveling and that can give you free food and free lodging and sometimes you get paid for it. Couch surfing. Couch surfing is the number one way to get free lodging when you're traveling. With couch surfing, you can get free free place to stay and sometimes free food and you know friends friends along the way. You can go and stay at a place when you couch surf. You just gotta go on the website, you make it a, make a profile. I've already gone over it, how to use it a little bit. But um, you know, with couch surfing, it's great. You make, I've done it a couple times, you meet really cool people when you do it. You can, you know, you meet these people and you get to, um, sometimes they show you around the city, they take you to the best restaurants, they give you a place to sleep. I mean, you can't, you can't really go wrong with couch surfing. Now we're gonna go over how to get free food when you're traveling. So free food, it kind of goes along with the, the lodging. Number one thing, if you're paying for your lodging, you can more than likely get free food. Um, like you can get free breakfasts, there's sometimes there's free snacks at hotels or breakfast. I always try to book places when I'm traveling that have that breakfast included or they have snacks or something. Um, and if you can do that, then stock up as much as you can on that. There's also, if you look up on a couple of different apps, there's ways to get free appetizers and free drinks at restaurants if you link in or if you uh, check in on say um, on different on different social medias they'll be like hey if you show me that you check in on your social medias then uh, on this on this restaurant or if you leave a review we'll give you free drinks and free appetizers and there's a lot of different sites where you can do that and couch surfing again couch surfing is great because there's often meetups and meetups are great because at a lot of meetups they have free food I went to a meetup in uh, Tel Aviv once and in Israel and they had free hummus they had all these drinks it was like I got free drinks and free food and I got to meet a bunch of people and hang out what more can you ask now events events our events are great for getting free food you can look into the town or the city that you're visiting and look up the dates and look to see if there's any events and a lot of times they have events with free food you know free appetizers or d'oeuvres those are the kind of things you're going to get but you can get a meal or a sustaining amount of like a small lunch or something, or you can also do dinner parties. Dinner parties are great because there's a bunch of different sites where people wanna meet other people, and you can go to a dinner party and you can get a free meal, you can meet some people, have a good time, maybe they show you around the city, maybe it turns out they have a place you can stay, and before you know it, you got a free meal and a free place to stay. All right guys, I know this video was a little short, but that's that's basically everything you need to know about how to get you can get free food and free lodging when you're traveling um, if you guys have any other questions let me know please share like and subscribe and i'll be making a lot more videos on travel hacks along with soon i'll be doing a bunch of videos on my my travel vlogs where i'll be going around israel i'll be showing you different places to stay and you know different hiking spots and cool things to do so i hope you guys enjoy take care and guys never stop traveling Peace out. Much love.